Welcome to BricsCAD for AutoCAD users. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it is my pleasure to show you BricsCAD 14. As someone who uses AutoCAD, you're no doubt familiar with the options dialog box. It gives you access to many of AutoCAD's settings through a confusing array of 11 tabs and lots and lots of dialog boxes. I once counted them up and found 30 of them. And despite all this complexity, it still does not access all of AutoCAD's system variables. In BricsCAD, the settings dialog box does the same thing, but with easy to use interface while providing all access to all 770 system variables. In this video, I show you the settings dialog box. To access it, either click the settings button on the toolbar or else choose the settings item on the menu bar and then click settings. Because this dialog box is really important in using BricsCAD effectively, and because the style of box is so different from AutoCAD's, I think I'll give you a quick tour of its functions. On top is the toolbar. From left to right, these buttons control things like the sort order or jumping directly to major sections. Click on either of the first two buttons to change the sort order between categories, which you see here, or alphabetical. The next button exports all of the settings and values. It saves them in a CSV file, which can then be imported into a spreadsheet. Pick any of the next three buttons to jump directly to the Drawing section, Dimension section, and Program Options section. In the Search field, enter text like the name or description or value of a variable, and BricsCAD will jump right to it. The arrow buttons jump to additional instances of that same text. And finally over here, the Find Settings button opens a dialog box where you can fine-tune what you want to search. In general, I leave everything turned on because BricsCAD is just so fast at searching. Let's now look at how to change the values of system variables in BricsCAD. To access sections, simply click the plus signs and these will get you into subsections. To change a valuable, click either a box or select it from a list. Notice that the values turn boldface. That's BricsCAD telling you that the value has changed. Sometimes there are values that are in gray. Those cannot be changed. They're like read-only var variables in AutoCAD. At the bottom, BricsCAD tells you about each variable. There's the name of the system variable, what kind of format's in, wh where it's saved or not saved, and a brief bit of help text. Despite all those buttons, the most important part of the settings dialog box is right here, the find field. It's pretty fabulous and I want to show you some of its special features. Let's type in a word to search such as tablet and you can see that immediately BricsCAD jumps to the first instance of the word tablet. Now you can then click the buttons to go to the next instance and finally Notice that the field turns green. This means it's returned to the first instance and there are no more other cases of this word. If you type in a word that doesn't exist, such as tablets, notice it instantly turns orange. That's to alert you that the word tablets is not available in this dialog box. Finally, I want to explain the uh, functions of this find settings dialog box and explain what these four cate uh, categories are. The variable name is the name such as tab mode. The variable title is the phrase you see over here or else over here. In variable help means this line of text down here and in categories are the subheadings such as this one and this one. So you can turn these on and off and then click apply and that will cause BricsCAD to not search in those particular areas. I trust you found this little tutorial useful. See you next time on Brixis TV. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.